For this video, I'm going to show you how to convert something made of styrofoam into something made of solid aluminum, using common play sand and a little bit of magic. Start with some foam board from the dollar store and peel the paper layers off the top and the bottom. Now draw or print a picture of whatever it is you want to make and use your pictures as a guide to cut the foam board into individual pieces. I cut and glued my pieces together to make an awesome looking styrofoam pistol. It looks pretty cool like this, but to turn the styrofoam into metal, we're going to need some play sand. We'll also need to fire up the mini metal foundry we built in the previous project and start liquefying a few of the metal biscuits we made from recycling soda cans. With that warming up, let's go ahead and pour a bit of sand into a 5 gallon bucket until it's at least 2 to 3 inches deep. Now take your styrofoam creation and glue a thick foam riser somewhere on the side, then push the whole thing into the sand so it stands upright. If we sprinkle a bunch more sand around the styrofoam mold, it should hold it firmly in place. And as you're adding the sand, make sure the foam riser is poking up out of the center. That's really important. Now when the sand covers everything completely, give the bucket a little shake to level it out and fill any gaps around the styrofoam underneath. It's a good idea to have a little spray bottle handy so you can spritz some water and moisten the top layer of the sand. This way you'll be able to build a volcano around the foam riser to act as a funnel leading down to the styrofoam. Now here's where the magic begins to happen. When we pour molten aluminum into the makeshift funnel, the foam at the bottom vaporizes in an instant and the liquid aluminum rushes in to take its place. You can see it all happens very quickly, so be sure you're pouring fast enough to keep the funnel full, but slow enough to stop when it's done. Let everything cool for around 10 minutes and the metal should be hard enough to grip onto it with a pair of pliers. So pull it up out of the sand and you'll see your styrofoam creation is just transformed into solid aluminum, almost like magic. If you want to make it look nicer, you can clean up the rough edges with a file and some sandpaper, and that's how simple it is to make anything you can think of into solid metal. By the way, this also works with housing insulation as well. I put a pink foam sword into the sand and 10 minutes later pulled out an identical copy cast in solid aluminum. Well that's it for now. If you like this video, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching to the end. If you want to see another video, just click here to go back one or click here to go forward. I've also made some playlists for you. Random weekend projects, random experiments, life hacks, and mad science. If you can't click the screen, just look for these links in the description. I post new videos every five days, so please subscribe and I'll see you around for the next one. Talk to you then.